I'm here with Ludovic Yossan. Now, if you've been watching uh, the channel, you would have seen the Portuguese National Slalom Championships and me and him having some pretty good duels, especially this one. Yeah, so I got up close and personal with him in that and I pretty much was wearing his boom on my head. After the race, we got talking and he tells me he's got this new boom and I'm like, oh yeah. But actually, it's pretty interesting. Uh, so I said to him, let's make a video and we'll tell a few people out there about the boom uh, and you can decide what you think of it because... I think it's pretty cool, man. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, firstly, you, if you don't know him, he is the man behind Chopper Fins, PWA World Cup racer. He got a podium at the first ever competition I commented in Vietnam. Oh, no, it was four only. Only four. Oh, four. One point, <laughs> one point, one point, okay, he was fourth. He's still pretty good. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, so firstly, I've got to talk about it. It's called Lisa. Yeah. Um, the name, well, you can tell us. Uh, it's just in memory of my uh, little dog, like many guys, people know. Uh, yeah. it was, and, uh, it's a bit different name also, so we want to, to go for that name, which is a short name. Uh, that's it. Uh, Lisa just, will live on, yeah, I tell yeah, you. Yeah, coolest yeah. dog ever, and I love dogs. Uh, but for, we're going to talk about the boom. Just a little bit of an idea behind the concept of the of, of the eye, you know, how long has it been in so, production? Uh, it's, it's been like a, like a close to two years project. Uh, me and my partner, we, we just wanted to redesign the, the, the boom and to bring some, some new features uh, to the market because we, we thought we, we could make it better. Yeah, okay, and we're gonna go through those features. Feature one, okay, we're gonna go to feature one, which is the grip. Talk me through the grip, because it's pretty interesting. Uh, this grip is uh, is kind of unique because I, I think we with the first one using that grip. Uh, it is uh, joint free, uh, very thin uh, wall. It's like a, under one millimeter thickness, and um, it's very easy, easy to to install. All right, so we want to also sell it as a spare part okay. because it's going to be very easy to to replace your whole grip. It's like it's like a sleeve, so you sleeve it on, yes. and then I'm, from what I can understand, you heat it up, and it and it shrinks, shrinks yes. to the yes. boom. Uh, we've been working with industrial partners on that. It's it's quite a new product, and we bring it to windsurfing. Um, we like it. It 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 it, it lasts very long, and more it gets wet, more it gets grip. So it's 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 nice in the hands. Yeah, okay? I can also see it's actually different shape. It's not a it's not a circle so to speak. No, this is oval tube. Uh, we worked uh, quite a lot on all the outline of the of that tube. Uh, it's pretty round here so it's very easy for the jibe and after when you when you flip the cell and get it the other side it's it's very gentle here. Okay. Um, the tubes are pre-preg, same pre-preg I'm using for the for the fins uh, with a very high pressure molding system all made in Spain, Tarifa. Pretty cool, man. Yeah. Pretty cool. Okay, feature two, um, the boom head. I mean, it's a boom head. It's solid, but you did tell me the way it, the actual rope goes over the, the bolt. Yes, uh, it's, uh, it's this boom head is half 3D printed and half carbon. And yes, the, the, the main point is that the, the rope is going behind the screw, which is actually here, titanium screw. Okay. Uh, it makes the bit, the, all the efforts a, a bit more better distributed. Okay, so we go. Two features. And we're moving down the boom now. Um, we've seen this before. I mean, I'm going to show you this because I remember when this first came out. I think it first came out on the Neil Pride boom, but it's an internal uh, adjustable outdoor, but such a cool feature. I mean, I've been racing a long time and that really used to annoy me with having the pulleys on the outside. I mean, it makes a lot of sense inside. Yes, we, we went for this because, as you said, it's, it's a bit more simple and more, more clean. So that's it. We, we got the, the, the cleat here and same system, but it's all internal. So more clean, more rope free. And, um, Hang on. Is it easy? Is it easy? Ah, oh, yeah. See, perfect. So, I mean, like I said, that I, I do like that. It just cleans up the whole system. We're gonna we're gonna move on to the next one because the next one gets me excited. I don't know why. And uh, check this thing. Check this feature number 
Four. Four. <laughs> this thing here, now this looks pretty simple. Um, you've probably seen this on a few cells before, or you might think you've seen it on a few cells before, but this is an outdoor block with a difference. Talk me through this, because this is pretty cool. Uh, so this is our, one of the main innovation we did, and we're very proud of it because it's a new item on the market. Uh, we're gonna call it the, call it the twist lock pulley, uh, and it's actually integrated to the boom. So if you want to release the, the cell when you're rigging, you just open it with a quarter of a quarter turn, and that it, it's open. So That's if, it, if you if you want to change change highlight or when you just rigging you just get in through the through your highlight and lock it like that so it's very simple and and efficient so, and it stays always on the boom okay so it's 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 part of the boom let's say i mean anybody who races will know how good that is because i know from when i've had the adjustable out especially when you de-rig your sail you have to unthread the rope and then go back and then tie the thing up and it's a bit of a pain in the ass whereas this thing I guess just stays with the boom and you just move it from it, sail to it sail. Stays, yeah so you don't need to thread and it's only the, by this this little action I think you got a one in your pocket right? Don't tell him. You're don't tell him. I, I, just, <laughs> I was trying to keep this quiet he gave me this earlier to talk about it I slipped it away <laughs> I was thinking I just stop that no but I mean there you go. Yeah, so. <laughs> That's it. Quarter Pretty sick. rotation. I do like that. That's it. So the big and question is, does that come with the boom or can you buy it separate? Yes, it's, it, we, we want to sell it as a, as a spell also because I think it's, it's a like, major innovation. Um, small item, it's nice and it's very efficient. When you, if you, this cell don't have two highlights, but if you want to swap from one to the other highlight, it's super, super quick. Yeah. So. I mean, they do sell semi ones like this, but you have to have one for every sail. Exactly. And it's fixed. Whereas yes. this one, you just it's need one for the boom. One, one per boom. Yeah. Pretty cool, man. One Thanks, man. That's it. <laughs> it's gone. He's never seen that again, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also, I've got to say, because he gave me a big tip in the Portuguese Championships about eyelet. So, obviously, on your sail, you've only got one eyelet. Um, but on my sail, I got two. And I was using the bottom one. And he says, I was asking him for some tips. He says, well, firstly, use it in the man's eyelet. I'm like, what's the man's eyelet? He says, the top one tightens up the leech, gives you more power. Exactly. Is that is what you're saying? Yes. So I had to then take the boom off to do it. If I'd have had this, I could have just done a little slip. Maybe and then if the wind picks up, I can drop it down. Is that what you do? Two with seconds, that? yes, exactly. You just open and, 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 and relock cool. in, in the next eyelet. So yes, yeah, the twist lock pulley. Twist lock pulley, it's there, pulley. come in. I've already got one, so uh, <laughs> what's his face? The keen eyes amongst you will notice there's no holes in this thing. So tell me why there's no holes and how you can make a solid system work with no holes, because I don't see many booms with no holes. Yeah, we, we decided to go for no holes because drilling the carbon, it's, 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 it's actually not good. So you lose strength and everything. So we molded those, those shapes each side of the tube. And uh, and some pins are going each side. Okay, so the, okay. it's a symmetrical effort. Let's say uh, very easy to use, and uh, that it's a simple and efficient uh, item also. Yeah, it's got a solid yeah. clunk to it. Yeah, our home design. Uh, we're pretty proud about it. Also, that's it. It's uh... nice work. Yeah. So there you go. That is the new boom from Lisa. Well, from Ludo. <laughs> Um, go on, give them a plug. Where, can they buy the boom? When's it out? Is it out now? Or? Uh, the boom is, is now available. Uh, LisaWindsurfing.com. Uh, just get in touch with us and uh, we can. Is it limited to all? I mean, do you have to order it? Is there a time? Yeah, or is it's it? going to like, like pre-order, like the, like the fins, let's say. Okay. Uh, a little pre-order. We like to chat uh, with the customer first. Uh, just remember that I got, with, two, with two guys on, on that project, it took you like took us like uh, almost two years to, to get to this final product. So yes, now available. Uh, we're very proud about it and uh, hope, hope it's, it's gonna work. Well, hopefully yeah. we'll probably see some on the water soon. So uh, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. So there you go. Uh, thanks to Ludo for talking us through the boom. Let us know in the comments below what you think. Uh, interesting stuff.